hey guys now we'll see dynamic import in next js and like where you can use that so suppose uh you are uh in the main index page you can see directly showing index page okay now you do uh you want to print the window object so you'll say import use effect and you'll say use effect and here you just say console.log window okay normal stuff and you go to window and you see the console and it will work why because you said use effect so when it will render on the client side it will get the window object and print it okay now suppose you remove this and remove this also you directly want to print window okay now if you try it you'll get an error there is no window but there is window when we are using use effect so what's happening so window because use effect will runs on the client side when the page is gone on to the client side now here on the server side only it's creating the page so while creating page it's calling the window but there is no browser okay so it can't call window so it's like error giving there is no window okay but suppose you are doing some stuff and it requires window object or some set timeout maybe anything and you have to write like this only not in use effect there are some conditions okay then how do you like overcome that issue then we use something called dynamic import so let me take a another uh, component and show in that so i'll say new file i'll say dynamic.js okay i'll say rfce now here i will do console.log i'll say dynamic oh uh, sorry window okay now here if i import sorry dynamic from dynamic and here i will use it as a uh, what do you call component okay and here also i'm consoling in the function directly window again if i run error so now i have to uh, import it dynamically okay this component name can any be thing i just made it like dynamic so we have to import in the main page in the dynamic way so what we'll do we'll just remove this we'll say import dynamic from next dynamic and here we'll say constant dynamic equals to dynamic and here we'll just say import and the uh, dynamic file see now if i save it it is clearly running fine why because it's the dynamic is coming after a little bit flicker because it's importing on the front end side see see so this is what we call dynamic import okay now if you don't want to use this just want to import and maybe you do some stuff and something like that i don't know so if you do like that also no problem okay currently no problem okay so and this is a async call so you can just say dot den also or maybe you can just wrap this up in a function maybe this so what you'll do you'll say or maybe just dot then only i'll say dot then this equals to console dot log yes so i will just use into constant dynamic equals to and here i will say dynamic like this see so it's see consoling so it can be used a lot of where maybe some component which is very heavy maybe which is a very heavy component and which a user may use or may not use maybe there's some button which opens a tab and the user may open the tab or may not so if you are uh, by default uh, importing that so it will make your site heavy so you will just make it dynamic call a function so from that function you can just call this import okay so this is what is dynamic import in what do you call next js guys